we have to prove the Snell's law of refraction from Fermat's principle. For this purpose, we first take a refracting surface and the source let us be and light coming from the source and after refraction it goes to another direction and this is the normal to the surface now the source is renamed as p the ultimate point as q and this is o this is n this is a and this is b Now join this point and this point now name this as M and this is as L and take this distance as X so if the total distance is D then it will be D minus X that's OL and the height h1 and this is as h2 and light coming from this go to this direction now the incident ray make angle theta 1 with the normal and the refracting ray make angle theta 2 with the normal So mu1 is the refractive index of the first medium and mu2 of the second. So we have to prove the Snell's law that is mu1 sin theta1 is equal to mu2 sin theta2. So let's start. Now see the total time taken for this to go from P to Q is given by t is equal to po by v1 v1 is the velocity of the fast medium of light and plus oq by v2 it is the velocity of light in the second medium and po can be written as root over x square plus h1 square by v1 plus oq can be written as root over h2 square plus d minus x whole square by v2 now from Fermat's principle we know the total time will be maximum or minimum to go from source to the ultimate point so the derivative of t with respect to x will be 0 so uh, we have to derivative on t with respect to x that will be like 1 by v1 is constant so it there the derivative of the upper part that is 1 by 2 root h1 over x square into derivative of x square that's 2x plus 1 by v2 is constant into 1 by 2 root into derivative of d minus x whole square into derivative of minus x now we shall put this condition that is dt dx equal to 0 but before this we have to simplify this so dt dx is equal to 1 by v1 into x by 2 to cancelled out root over h1 square plus x square
minus would be there into 2 to cancel out d minus 6 remaining by root over h2 square plus d minus x whole square that's equal to 0 now 1 by v1 we can write this x and root over h1 square plus x1 square is as x is equal to om that is x equal to om and root over h h1 square plus x square equal to op op so the upper part is om and the below part is op minus you can write this term d minus x by this term is equal to o l by o q that's o l by o q and there will be a 1 by v2 so 1 by v2 there equal to 0 now you can see that om by op can be written as sin theta 1 because if this angle is theta 1 then this also will be theta 1 then from this sin theta 1 is equal to om by op so and there if this is theta 2 then this will be also theta 2 then sin theta 2 is equal to ol by sorry ol by oq now we have to put this condition to our main equation that is sin theta 1 and that is for sin theta 2 that is sin theta 1 om by op minus 1 by v2 into sin theta 2 equal to 0 now taking 1 by 6 common we get c by v1 sin theta 1 minus c by v2 sin theta 2 here c is the velocity of light so you know that the refract index mu is equal to c by v that is mu 1 into sin theta 1 minus mu 2 into sin theta 2 or mu 1 sin theta 1 equal to mu 2 sin theta 2 this is the well known Snell's law of refraction which we have derived from the Fermat's principle